Just turn. Okay, just stop. They're not baby camels, but they're just. Oh my gosh. They got camels. Their legs are tied together. What? They are tied together. Oh no, why? Oh, that's oh so gosh. crazy. Can we get closer? I'm sure we can. Oh, just camels grazing. Look at this out there. There's no people, just camels hanging out. And their front legs are tied together, which is quite disturbing to us. All right, so we are running into something we haven't seen yet in all of Morocco. Camels are just walking around. But just here, it's there's so no, strange. There's no humans with them. They're tied at, at the ankles. So like together. Like together. It it is Okay, I Googled it. I Googled it. I assume it's because the farmers don't want them to run too far away, but it kinda seems I Googled it and I'm going on YouTube to find out why. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. One second. Stand by. Stand by. What does everyone's guess think? I think they it's, run away. Or you think it's so they run away? I think it's a way to trap them too, but it's okay, because they're, they're wild teenagers and they don't like to be left alone. Okay, let's see if we can find something. Let's see. They tie the legs while at camp to prevent the camels from wandering too far. All right. I don't like that. Oh my gosh. Follow it, your camel. But it's like when people... And feed your camel. It's like when people put their kid on the leash. I mean, would you want to have your legs tied together or something? Or like a leg tied to an arm because people don't want you to get away? But there's got to be a better reason. But I don't know where the farm is. I don't even see a farm nearby. Me neither. But, so but that's really bad because if a predator comes after them, then they can't get away. Who attacks a camel? I don't know. Camel bites off its owner's head after being left tied up in the heat. No, of the course. Dogs? I could bite someone's head off if I got tied up in the heat. I think you've tried to bite my head off for less than that. <laughs> for your dry thing. Yes. Oh my gosh. Why? What? Okay, someone's got to help us out. I'm not right. finding a lot of information on Google. Someone tell me that there's a really good reason that these camels' front legs are tied together. Because this, right now, this is really disturbing to see their but legs tied But that's just camels, together. like donkeys and everything else. Well, but the mules have... equal opportunity... Right, but the camels have this. their front legs tied together. But the mules have a front and a back, so it's making it more difficult for them to move. There's got to be a good reason. To Tangier, Morocco. We are about an hour away from where we were last time we saw you guys over by the Dats Gorge. Well, there's a gorge right over here called the Tangier Gorge, and we're gonna be heading there at the end of the week. But our normal schedule, as you know, is during the week we hunker down and we get work done, we get school done, and during the weekend we go on an adventure. Well, we're midweek right now, so Thursday we're going to go see you at the gorge, but right now we're here. This is how I start every single morning cup of tea, relaxing outside, listening to the birds. So we live in an RV and most mornings start out with, well, we are usually awake by about 6.20. We drag ourselves out of bed by 6.30. We have to get up that early because Largo has French classes, starts at seven in the morning. Those first couple minutes of waking up, it's just like I've been hit by a train. Avalon sleeps a little bit later, but Will and I are in the bed that's right above where Largo takes his classes. So we have to get up. So I never start the day sitting outside, listening to the birds, having a cup of tea. But I am today. We work with the coolest educators within classrooms as private tutors um, and self-paced classes. And we, you guys ask a lot of questions about who we use, so we're gonna start sharing these people. Eleanor is fabulous. Largo hates doing English class particularly writing. And I really was committed to finding him a writing teacher that could inspire him. And she has done it. Now, she only focuses on creative writing. Hello. Hey. Hey, oh, my sound's really weird. And she has ignited something in him that he's actually super excited to write. He's soliciting it on his own. He's telling us about these stories. Star Wars. So we're gonna do something a bit different, but I think we're gonna stay on the theme of Star Wars because I have a feeling that you like Star Wars. Yeah, I don't I do. know why I get this feeling. And he laughs out loud when she's teaching him. And she is so good at what she does, she focuses on topics that are of interest to him. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, like a monkey bird. Uh, yeah, a monkey bird. What planet do you think a monkey bird would be on? Uh, monkey bird planet. 
a monkey fun planet. Would they be on the same planet as the Wookiees? Because that's a kind of strange planet. Yeah, that, they're like big hairy humans. So he gets inspired and excited, and he's actually writing outside of class, outside of the work that he has to do, and telling us stories and books and all the stuff that he's thinking in his head that he wants to put to paper. So. Okay, so if you get an idea, like a, a kind of um, idea in the middle of the night, saying, I know where my Star Wars story is going to go, then you can write that down and I'll be really happy to read it. Yeah. But we're going to go to something else in lesson. And we have a lot of teachers like that. But it's taken us many years of homeschooling, world schooling, to get to this point, to have teachers that are just amazing, who know what they're doing, who can inspire the kids, who love what they're doing. And if you're interested in her services, we're gonna put a link down in the bottom way to contact her. Hi. Are you adopting new friends now? Um, how is it Flavia. Flavia. Flavia? Hi. <laughs> Hi Flavia. I know I grew up with someone with your name. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. What's going on, Jess? <laughs> you caught me spying on the neighbors. You should see what they're cooking. They have like a, a total Jimmy rig outside oven that looks handmade. It has a front part that comes open and they're baking two huge chickens in there. It's way too much food for the two of them. Seriously, they have a fresh salad. They have, they have strawberries. But what are you cooking though? Beans. <laughs> Boring beans. We're out of, we're out of vegetables. We're out of, sauces were out of everything and the grocery store is no bigger than this rv and a 30 minute walk so we're making do but i think i think will's gonna go over oh my god look will will it's open quick quick quick, quick. Look, look, look. see can you see that will kind of i oh, always use his butt it's way too much food for them mom avalon hey. avalon use your french go get us some chicken what use your french go get us some chicken no. largo go largo Go no. back. Bring their dog some treats. No. <laughs> did that? Did Dad actually swap a beer for a chicken? <laughs> I was kidding about that. Aww. I told both the kids, Will. They said, "Look, there's Daddy. He's going over. He's going to bring a beer and swap it for the chicken." And they're both like, "Really?" <laughs> we haven't had beer in a long time here. I know, but have you? I haven't had anything since I've been in this country. You had have a you? sip. It's not, it's just not around. I mean, you go to a restaurant and they, they offer you tea. They don't ask, hey, you want a cocktail? And we just don't think of it. Oh my God, the beans are burning. Oh no, shoot. Oh no. I'm not cleaning that. I oh no, oh no. Will, what are you doing filming me right I know now? we're having for lunch now. Oh, for beans? Oh no. <laughs> well, that's not funny. What are you working on, Jess? I look at this. Can you see it? it for looks, those of you, it looks who, like a weird template. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, I used to be a graphic designer for I don't know 20 years, and I do almost all the graphics for World Towning um, for our brand. I did not design this logo though, um, and I am working on one of these. I guess they're called a head wrap or something for people that are hiking with us on the Camino. And I'm going to brand it World Towning. People that hike with us get one. And then people we meet along the way that we fancy will get one as well. Or anyone who's nice to us or gives us a snack or some candy. Sour Patch Kids are my favorite. Might stand to get one of these as well. I've got Will's big camera that I'm holding. And I'm not very strong. So if you get shaky cam, don't get mad at me. We have been in tax, I don't know what you'd call it. For me, it's, ugh. for Will, you know, it's not too bad for him. He doesn't mind doing the taxes because he is an accountant by trade. Let's go check a look on him, see what he's doing. He's probably napping. Hey, Will, how's the nap going? I wish. I was just telling everyone how much you like doing our taxes. You don't, I don't get all. I hate it. You don't, right? Because you're a, an accountant by trade. I don't hate it that much. 
You really hate it when we owe money, which is most of the time, right? Which, which I'm, we're dancing on right now. We're dancing on that, we're huh? We're dancing on that right now. It's all the millions we made from world towning, right? <laughs> Have you found a way to shelter that someplace? The Cayman Islands or something? We don't bring something? a drone into Morocco. We're not going to go ahead and sort of <laughs> start fudging on our taxes. There's no way. Should we flash a screen, guys? It's not pretty yet. <laughs> it's not pretty. It's not pretty You yet. look awful comfortable. I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't, I never go on these hammocks. They're really comfy though. I can tell you guys that I have seen Will in about six different situations. Three, four, this, five? No, but in this weekend from doing the taxes, you've been here. You were inside at the home office. He was over here at the table office, and I think he might have even been over at the cafe once. I'm, I'm hoping to get a little bit more inspiration from each from location. The hammock. <laughs> it's not working out too well. Hey, Will. You still doing the taxes? I am. I, I decided that... Uh... I needed to change the scenery. Are you happy? I like the sounds of the birds. The birds. It's, 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 <laughs> making, it's making this tax thing go so much better. So do you miss it? You miss accounting life? Um. There's a pause there. <laughs> Should I come back in 10 minutes so you can think about it? No. All right, so this actually deserves a real answer because we've been now on the road did, for four years now. I did leave Will for half an hour so he could think it over. No, you didn't. <laughs> we just we just grabbed the camera and turned this on because she likes to do this. She likes to throw out questions to me that sort of we don't exactly prep for. And, and now she wants to give me an answer and I give you an answer. <laughs> I don't, we don't talk about this or think about it if we, if we miss our previous professional lives because we're so busy and entrenched in the vlogs and running our business world towning and raising our kids and world schooling them that... Well, the, here's the question. Do we miss our old life? Our old I, life meaning that I was an accountant. So our old, our old was, careers. Yeah, yeah. Our old sort of job sort of descriptions where I, I used to help companies do books and used to... Remember Enron? Stop. And she, <laughs> Just used, kidding. she used to do uh, graphic design stuff for, for make logos and, and, and wonderful All kind of branding stuff. stuff. So, so do we miss it? Do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? I don't miss it that much. You know but what there, I, mean? I do miss it a little bit. He misses the... the, the I'm going to tell you honestly what he misses. I he miss mi fantasy football. You miss the people, right? I miss, I miss hanging out with people. And he misses the miles. I and miss, the hotel points. Well, who doesn't miss that? <laughs> I feel like you're dancing around this question. All right, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. Let's I, lay it out. Lay it, it out. I miss it to the extent that I think about it, but I don't think about it. But you, you at all. have said that you miss you you've missed the learning. Now we do a lot of learning with our business and him with the vlogs, but you miss that part, that kind of learning, right? You miss. Do you I, miss? I, I miss being a problem solver for a lot of problems for people beyond <laughs> the household because they say thank you more than you guys do <laughs> <laughs> thank you Will. i know thank I you know. for being our tech genius i know i try to be do you miss it though um i graduated from university at 21 and i was a graphic designer until my early 40s um it was really good to me I met a lot of great people. I learned a ton. Then I eventually went on my own for over a decade. And what the career offered me and the business I started, I had the luxury of working from home while my children were little. Um, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. In the last couple years that I was a graphic designer, I was burning out. Um, you know, there were people offering logos for $99 with no research behind them and no studies on competitors and all that stuff. And it was frustrating to me. And I was kind of getting just, I was just burnt out. I was ready for something new. I miss many of my clients, the really cool ones, which 99% of them were cool. It's that 1% that's not so cool. Um, I miss the creative part of it, but I don't miss it enough that I would ever want to go back. Okay, well, you actually thought about this more than I did. I came up with fantasy <laughs> football, and she came up with like the whole thing of the well, career that's going to demise. When I walked up with the camera, I had a whole plan laid out, and I just—I can see that. I just surprised you. I can see that. Well, I'm still working on taxes, <laughs> <laughs> and the good news is, I think we're gonna get a refund. So, so that's oh, I still got. That's I still really. Have, that's really. Yeah. That's really. That never this happens. Is, this is why I feel like I, I don't. I kind of miss it because I like finding solutions. Anyway, I also miss fantasy football, but but that's that's my answer. 
it's really cool to start something new and start something new with someone you really love and trust as a business partner and someone who you who has amazing skills and I'm really happy where we are right now. Glad we talked about this. I'm glad we talked about this Now too. we don't have to go to couples therapy. <laughs> where is our therapist in Morocco? Where is, it's the tea guy. <laughs> hey! Tea guy. More tea please. More tea. Before we kill each other. Life is funny and sometimes strange Until I'm turns out the way you think but if you want some good advice, I can offer this small wink. You'll find that a little goes a long way. A little goes a long way. A little goes a long way for love. We gotta put a little bit of water in the RV, and lucky for us, this place has a hose that reaches from. Well, it reaches to our RV. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh my gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I gotta be really careful with this. Yeah, I know. I'm a little wet here. It's a big hose. I know. So we're finding out here in Morocco that people are really happy to help you out. And so this guy saw that I was struggling because the hose turned on, but then nothing came out. He said he had to turn on the pump. So he went and turned on the pump and now this thing's gushing like an oil well. It's, it's a lot of water. Okay, so we're gonna have game night now. So that's basically it for the day. Hope you liked our vlog. Bye. See you next time. Like, subscribe, comment. Anything else? Nope. nope. I know you guys want to hear me talk, but he's always saying I talk too much. I think you should give this video a thumbs down because you don't like that Will doesn't let me talk. <laughs> you better put that in. If he doesn't put this in, I quit. I'm done with this vlog. Good luck with that.